The next question you have is about temper. So that has to do about how to handle our inner life. And uh, the way to do it is to, you know, first the motivation. God loves us so much. Our life are precious. We can do great things for God. Each person can do great things for God. So that's the motivation. And then we understand all sins are destructive. They will hinder the work of God and also they will steal and destroy us and also give Satan a foothold into our life. So we know that this is bad. Now, so when you were about to be angry, there are usually reasons. People are not good. People are not following uh, what they should do. And then we have to discern and say, well, people do, do not do so well. It's because of the sins, because of the weakness, and it's their problem. And they, people who have problems actually have suffered all through the years. Since their childhood, they have been hurt by people. So they, they are having this anger they cannot handle. And so when we understand them and have compassion on them, then we can say, I understand why they get angry, why they don't behave so well. And then when we can understand them and then say, actually they are more miserable than we are. So then we have compassion. They are miserable. They need Jesus. So I want to bless them. I want to strengthen them. I want to pray for them. I want to be nice to them so I can change them. And instead of asking for everything to be perfect. And then I, I, let me ask you, what is more important? People's life or things are done well? People's life is more important. So we'll say, okay, even though my family members are not doing so well, it doesn't matter. The world will not crumble. The family will not, will not crumble. And, but our life is precious. And their life is precious. Because if I'm angry with them, they might not believe in Jesus in the future. So I want to keep being nice and gentle. And then they'll say, wow, what happened to you? Why are you always so nice? So we handle it inside. I don't have to be angry. It's their problem. And I use this illustration. I hope that you apply it right. If a crazy man yelled at you, will you be angry for a long time? No, you know that he has some problem. We understand that. And we know how to turn off crazy people. But then for sinners, we find it hard to turn off. Because these sinners are family members. You say they are normal. They're normal, generally they're normal. <laughs> but they have the sinful nature. That's what happened to people. They have the sinful nature. And so they get angry and they have been hurt. But actually in some way they're similar to crazy people. I'm not saying they're crazy. Yeah. But in some way they're out of control. They're hurting people. So understand that. I'm not saying they're crazy. But I'm using this illustration. I can turn off crazy people. I can also turn off sinners. Yeah. What they say, stay in the air. They say, you're crazy, doesn't matter, you know. Ha, 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 I'm crazy. <laughs> Take it lightly. Take it with humor. <laughs> and he said, you're too slow. Okay, I'll hurry up. <laughs> So just take it lightly. Don't take it personally. Because we understand they are still growing. Yeah. They need time. And then we understand that then we can have compassion and forgive them and bless them. And then be nice to them. That way we change. We change. That. So we, 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 we're not saying they're crazy. But I'm saying when you say someone's words are not important, then we can turn off the words. When we say their words are not important because they, they are sinners, they are not following God, they are weak doesn't matter, I don't have to be affected, but my life is more precious. Now, you think about me. If I, you know, have so many good teachings and feel the Holy Spirit, and then I come to this church, and then I say, Pastor, you didn't do something right, and then I get angry, and then the people all look at me and then say, how come he's so angry? And then they say, don't, don't let him come anymore. I will shut my ways of ministry, right? Mm. So if I let anger comes out, it will shut of my ministry. So I don't want that to happen. Do you want it to happen to you? No. no. So we treasure our life and we treasure what we can do for God and then we'll follow God and don't let anything take away yeah. our sins and, and uh, take away our blessings and don't let sins or anger. And you can go online, look for Pastor Yip on YouTube and I have sure victory. Now I call it joyful victory. It talks about different things First, to live in the love of God and the plan of God and take care of different problems, sins and anger and affected by people, negative emotions, and then make the best of our life. 